guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the brand new well it's actually like a month old I'm kind of late to the bandwagon but I knew that I wanted to do this so badly um, and that is the I love Sarai dose of colors collaboration I'm so excited about this I actually asked you guys last week if you wanted to see a review on this well not a review what am I saying a tutorial on the new collection and you guys were like yes so I went ahead and purchased a good amount of the collection I got four of the lip products um, and then I have one of the highlights which I'm excited and then I have the palette so I went ahead and got dolled up for you guys I did my hair um, and I went ahead and did my foundation so let's just go ahead and get started so because everybody's been doing like videos with this with the dark colors and all those fun colors um, I'm going to be doing a more everyday wearable tutorial so I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly just kind of set my eyes I am going to be taking my airspun loose powder and I'm gonna be just setting that also I really quickly want to take a second to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for 20,000 subscribers I literally was shook like I I just it's still I can't believe it's still honestly because it really happened, I almost feel like overnight that my channel really, really started to take off. My channel for a long time was at a standstill. And I feel like right now it's been doing so well and it's because of you guys, your support, um, your referrals, like you guys telling your friends, your family. Um, it's all because of that that my channel's growing and I, I will never ever forget that or take that for granted. Um, you guys are always like my number one and you guys are the reason why I make these videos and also because of my passion, of course. Those two things go hand in hand, but I just really wanted to take a second to thank you guys. All the videos that you guys saw previous to this one have, were pre-filmed before I reached 20,000 because I was going to Nashville for the weekend. So that's why I wasn't able to really like share with you guys all of my excitement through the videos um, but I did write a quick little note for you guys there in one of my videos letting you guys know thank you so much and I just wanted to say it on camera as well because I, I just can't thank you guys enough like big cyber hug right here because you guys are like my life um, and yeah we are in it to win it and I'm so excited to see where this will take us Okay, so we are up in personal and um, let's just take a second for this packaging. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off with this eye and we are going to be taking the shade right here. I think it's called Finders Keepers. Um, when I was in California and I first purchased it, I used it um, that night and it was absolutely beautiful. I like how she has those neutral shades, but she also has like those fun darker shades and like it's just it's a really good day to night little palette especially for traveling I feel like it's fun I feel like it's different than your typical colors and you do have those gorgeous transition colors for example the one that I'm using right now this like nice color that is kind of like a peachy tone and then this like terracotta color I love those burnt oranges reddish colors I feel like they always go so well with everything I'm just taking it from one side to the other side and really blowing out the eye um, so the reason why I'm kind of blowing this out is because we're not doing too much with the eye so you really want that color to be noticeable if you're somebody that looks likes that very very subtle look then you can just literally keep it on your crease and that's it you don't have to blow it up all the way but also because of the way that my eye is like I kind of have those hooded eyes I like to take it higher so that you can really see that crease and you can really have some dimension in there I feel like doing this techniques help so much and also kind of looking straight ahead and like I'm looking into my mirror right now that's what I'm like mm. but yeah looking straight ahead makes a big difference and it just makes it easier for you to really take a look in there. I also like the fact that this palette has a mirror. So like it was perfect when I was in LA, I didn't have my big mirror that I usually have. So it was really nice to use it to just kind of be able to see like into my eye. So I'm just literally popping that in and the color is so pigmented because it's blending out so beautifully. You can see it like very, very clearly. It's not one of those colors that you're like, oh my God, why can I see this color? But I actually have to say I like this palette better than the Desi and Katie palette. 
I just felt like that palette was gorgeous, but it was just like, I, I like the fact that this has the mattes and everything in there. Like it makes it so much easier to use. So I really love this one. Okay, so now that we have that color on there, we're going to take our MAC 242 brush. We're gonna take the shade Wonderlust right here. And I like this color because it's kind of like a duochrome. So it's like um, a like pearl color, but it has like reflexes of like pink almost in there. So it kind of makes it like that duochrome finish. And you're just gonna go ahead and kind of cut the crease with the color. But the cool thing about this is that if you have hooded eyes, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it a little bit higher than where you usually would place it or where your crease folds. And you're just going to start to kind of cut the crease with the color. And this kind of cuts the step of you having to cut the crease with concealer. I know that can be very tedious and annoying, especially if you're kind of in a rush. So you can just go ahead and literally place that right over where your crease folds and you kind of have that nice cut crease form like do you see that that is with no mac fix plus and you guys know that i like am a fiend for mac fix plus especially when i use shimmers but i've noticed recently that whenever i feel like a shimmer is performing well without the um mac fix plus i don't even bother going back in with mac fix plus because i don't want to mess with it why fix something that's not broken and we're going to do the same thing so I went to Nashville this weekend and I'm obsessed with Nashville. Nashville is absolutely beautiful. I honestly would live there. I always have like, just had this feeling that I would love it there. The food was so good. I honestly think I like gained three pounds. I, I don't really weigh myself and I'm definitely not gonna weigh myself after that trip. But I was just like, you know what? This is my moment where I can just kind of like indulge. And I went like three days without working out. and. If you guys know me, you know that I work out all the time. So that was like a big deal for me. I don't think I've gone that long since last year before I started to really kind of like focus on my body. But I feel like I needed it, you know? I feel like sometimes you just need to like let loose for a minute and just have fun. Okay, so now that we have that color, we are good. Ooh, that looks pretty. Okay, so now we're gonna take back the color Finders Keepers. I think this is Finders Keepers, I hope so. I think so, I think it is. Okay, we're gonna take that color and we're just gonna pop it on the ends and we're gonna be using a Morphe M506, which is this nice, like, fluffy, almost blending brush type of brush, but I like to use it to kind of pack on color. So we're gonna be taking that right on our outer edge, like that, and you can see how much pigmentation you're getting right away just by doing that. So we're gonna pack that. I like these colors. I also like these colors because they're very wearable no matter like what hair color you have. <laughs> they go with everything. So this is beautiful. Um, but like I was saying, so if you guys are ever in Nashville, I really recommend you go to Uncommon James, which is Kristen Cavallari's um, store. There, I went there with my sister and they have the cutest jewelry. Like you're gonna see me wear the necklace that I bought from there. Um, probably in one of my videos soon and I'm I I'm guarantee you I will get so many questions asking where I got that necklace because it's just like the perfect little piece um, for just like every day or like to like spice up a look. It is so nice and I know that like, you know, you're seeing the show so it's like, oh my God, everybody's going there. Is it overrated? I don't think it's overrated at all. I think it's, it really, like she did really good with that. She knew what she was doing. And I think she's expanding her store on Common James to Los Angeles. So. I know a lot of you guys live in the um, California area, LA area. So if you guys have an opportunity to go to her store in LA, I would really recommend doing so because it has some of the cutest jewelry pieces that you will find. Wow, this actually looks so much, I didn't really know what I was gonna do, but this actually looks so beautiful. This is one of those looks that um, sometimes when I see like me do these type of looks, because the eyeshadow just looks so good and I feel like I can really fully see the eyeshadow on my lids and nothing's being fooled over by my hooded eyes. I feel like I could get away with not even doing like lashes. I could just do some mascara if my lashes were longer. My lashes are so damn short that it's like, it sucks sometimes because I feel like I have to do lashes to really make the look pop. Um, I envy all of you girls, girls and boys who have, um, long lashes because you can get away with not even using 
falsies. So I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is because this is more of an everyday wearable look, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and tight line my um, right here, like this like waterline area at the top. I'm not gonna go ahead and do any top liner. So I'm gonna take my Sigma E65 and I'm gonna be taking my Sigma liner in Wicked and we're just gonna go ahead and tight line. Um, what am I gonna do next? Okay, so we're gonna take my lash curler because we are kind of doing a more natural um, lash application. I kind of want to go in and kind of curl that lash and we're gonna be taking Bad Gal Bang by Benefit, my favorite mascara ever. And if you're not feeling the shimmer, you can literally just pop that like nice um, peachy color all over the lid and it will look fantastic. Also, I feel like this is a really nice palette because it's so small, there's not many options. So you quickly figure out what you want to do. I feel like when I have a really big palette, I have such a hard time figuring out the look that I'm going to do. It's just a better scenario. Okay, so I'm going to be applying my Ardell Studio Effects Demi Wispies. They look like this. They're a little bit more dramatic than the regular Wispies, which I really like because I feel like the regular Wispies do not look that great on me. They add like a little drama. There is one lash. Do you see? Lashes make such a big difference on me. Like these are just straight and just tiny. Now what I'm doing is I am just coating my falsies and my real lashes with some mascara. And we're doing that on both sides. I have like my I Love Sad Eye stickers right down there. So when you purchase online on the Dose of Colors website, you get those stickers, which I think are so cute. I want to put them somewhere. I just don't know where. So that's why I just kept them there. But I think that it was like a little cute touch that they added. Um, so what do we want to do now? I think I want to go in with a little bit of powder on the face because I feel like I'm looking a little dewy. I don't know why. I'm using the Dior um, Forever. The, is it the Dior Skin? The Dior Skin Forever Foundation. I really like that foundation. It's really nice and it's very long wearing. It doesn't keep me like completely matte, but it is a good foundation. I think it's just cause I'm hot. So like I'm like sweating. So first things first, after I am done doing the eyeshadow and the lashes is always to do concealer. So for concealer, we're always going to go ahead and use our Too Faced Born This Way. This is in the color natural beige um i love this concealer you don't need a lot of it you just need a small amount i almost forgot to bake i haven't been wearing that much makeup so when i was in natural i packed like all my makeup when i do a full face and i didn't use any of it the only thing i used was literally mascara the lip gloss by i love sarai and dose of colors and my brow pencil that's all i used i didn't use anything else and it just was because I didn't have time. The less I stress out about having to do a full face of makeup, the better. But I haven't been wearing any foundation since then, so it really feels weird to like put on the foundation. I'm like forgetting steps. We're gonna do a little bit of bronzer and a little bit of some blush. So for bronzer, I'm gonna be taking my Hoola bronzer by Benefit, and we're just going to be kind of bronzing around our face like bronzing makes such a difference it adds so much dimension to the face and this is a peach pearl brush i'm going to be taking my california brush i mean my california blush by benefit and we're just going to be applying a little bit of blush right on our cheeks i love blush a good blush is everything just kind of went to town with that um, and now we're going to go ahead and dust off our powder. I literally was blinking out for a second. I was like, what is this called? Okay, and because we want to make this look a little bit more natural, we're not going to run any color on our lower lash line. And we also aren't going to use anything on our inner tear deck. We just want to keep it as natural as possible. Before we move on to the lip products, which I was so excited to talk about, we're going to go ahead and do our highlight. So this is the highlight in Sol Mate, Sol Mate. In Spanish it's Sol Mate, but in English it's Sol Mate. Um, and this actually, I was very on the fence with this highlighter. Um, so she came out with this one and she came out with another one, which is a little bit more on like the pinky side. Um, but the reason I was on the fence about this one or just in general about trying the highlighters was because 
I have so many highlighters and I feel like right now, at least for me, highlighters are not my biggest priority. I feel like so many people came out with highlighters that I'm just kind of like, okay, I really have the ones that I like, but I don't know. I just, I was very indecisive when it came to this highlight. In the end, I decided, you know what, let me just go ahead and get it and give it a try. So this is my first time using it. Um, and I'm excited to see how it's going to perform on my cheeks. So for highlighter, we're going to be using the Milani brush and this is the all over blending. And I love this brush to highlight. It is literally the best brush that I've used. Ooh, it looks like it's going to be pigmented because it picked up a lot. Um, and we're just going to place that right here. It looks kind of subtle to me. Maybe I need to really go to town with it. There we go. I like it because it's not like bam in your face. I feel like it like blends right into your skin and it looks like a glow from within. And it has that nice gold reflex and I feel like it complements the skin very well. And for this side, I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of Fix Plus on my brush because I want to see if it really intensifies the um, highlight on to my skin. So whenever I use Mac Fix Plus for highlighting purposes, I like to go in with my Fix Plus in gold light because it does have that like extra shimmer. Um, so I like to see how that will look with the highlight. And I kind of just let it do its thing right here because I don't want the brush to be too wet and then kind of make the pan wet. So I kind of let it sit for a few seconds and get it kind of wet. Oh yeah, yeah, that that took it to the next level. This looks very intense. Like if you're looking for that intensity and you want that and you want that to really pop, like you want to be like that and you to be like bang, then you definitely do want to apply um, Mac Fix Plus. I would just say kind of be careful with it. You don't want it to look stripey. Whenever I feel like my highlight looks a little bit stripey when I go in with a very precise brush, I like to go in with a fan brush. This is by A Cosmetics. And I kind of like to just kind of diffuse it out. Do you see how now it doesn't look stripey? So this is definitely a good one, especially if you're on the hunt for a new like gold highlight. I think you will really like this. Okay, so I didn't purchase every single lip product. Like I mentioned, there's only one that I didn't purchase and it is that really nude gloss. Um, so I picked out the rest of the shades and I'm gonna quickly talk about each one and kind of swatch it in my hands so you guys can see it. The first one I'm gonna talk about is Fresa. So I originally really, really like Fresa. I felt like Fresa was absolutely beautiful, very different than what I have in my collection. Like, I don't think I've seen anybody do a color like this. My swatch is some shit, but... Mm, they have like a really nice smell. It kind of reminds me of the Kylie Jenner lip kits. It's really nice. And the only thing I don't like is that this is like not a see-through packaging, so you can't see the color. So if I have all three of these out, on my vanity, I'm going to have to look at the bottom to get the color right because you can't really see anything through here. So this is what Fresa looks like. Do you see that? It's such a unique color that it just gives me so much life. I'm really sad I can't wear it right now because of my hair. It will literally just clash super badly. But I feel like once my hair is dark, in a month or so, I'll be able to rock this all the time. And the reason I purchased Aesthetic was because that one was one that at the very beginning I was like, I need that. And it's like that like burnt orangey red, like terracotta color that everybody loves and everybody has in their collection. And then I was like, girl, you do not need that. You already have something probably so similar to that one. But I think what really sold me on it was that um, I Love Sarai posted a picture on her Instagram where she's wearing very, very little makeup and then her lips are with this lipstick and I was like, oh my God, I need it. Like I need to get it now. And you know, the reason they post those pictures is because they know that that will make people, fools like me, go out and purchase this. So I was like, she got me, but I'm not even mad because this is definitely a color that I'm going to be wearing a lot in the fall. I feel like these colors just complement my complexion really well. I just feel like they're the perfect like everyday use colors. It reminds me a lot of Ashton by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And that's by far one of my 
favorite lipsticks of all time. So I think this is a beautiful color, very, very fall appropriate. I feel like I'm going to be wearing it all the time during the fall and it's not going to lead me the wrong direction. I also like the Dose of Color liquid lipsticks because they are just so nice and creamy and very moisturizing and comfortable to wear on the lips even though they are matte lipsticks. So the last matte lipstick that I purchased was Peachy and this one was the one that I purchased when I went to Naomi's and I purchased um, the palette. I like knew right away that I needed it because it was very different than what I already had in my collection. It's sometimes hard for brown skin girls, tan skin girls to find a nice nude on their lips because anything that's too light will literally wash them out. Anything that's too dark will be too dark to be a nude. So I felt like Peachy was like the perfect nude, like pinky nude color. And I feel like we all love a good pinky nude. So that is what I'm going to show you guys right now. It's like the prettiest pinky nude. I feel like this is a very wearable color for every day if you want to kind of have something that you can just have as your staple everyday lip color. So these are all three of the lip colors that I purchased. As you can see, they're colors that I would totally wear, obviously, or else I wouldn't have spent $18 on each one of them. Um, but for this look that we have going on right now, I want to keep the lips super simple, especially because this is going to be a look that is more on the very wearable side. So today we're just going to be using the lip gloss in Brillo. And because I've been doing just the gloss by itself the past week and a half, I feel like, you know, it's, it's the best thing to do. So we are just going to be putting on the gloss all over the lip and I just love the shimmer of it because it's like a gold shimmer. It reminds me a lot of the Fenty Beauty lip gloss. So when you have it on your lips, it feels just really moisturizing. It's not sticky whatsoever and it just stays on the lips so beautifully and I like how it has like those little like sparkles on the lips. I feel like it's like such a beautiful touch and it really takes things to the next level. So once the lip gloss kind of like starts to fade out or like it comes off, it leaves the lips so moisturized and just kind of like ready to conquer the day. And I feel like who doesn't love a good glossy lip? I do have to say that I think this collection is absolutely beautiful. I do have to say that for the lip products, um, some of the colors are very probably similar to what you already have. So really look into that and see if it's something that you would want to really try out. I feel like Fresa is probably the most unique one out of the three that I have here. Um, but I feel like if you had to purchase something or some things, I would definitely purchase the gloss. I feel like this gloss is absolutely great. Um, the palette is so good. Like the colors are so pigmented and so easy to work with. I like the fact that it has a mirror right here. It makes things so much easier, especially when you're traveling. So she did really great with this collection. I love her, Karen. I love Sarai. I just feel like she is one of those influencers that just is very genuine. She seems like she's so involved and so passionate about what she does. Every time I watch her tutorials, I'm completely blown away. Her artistry is absolutely out of this world. And she's been a makeup artist since before YouTube. So that really gives her those years of experience and that full blown knowledge on the artistry world that I really appreciate. And I really am happy for her. I think that she deserved this collaboration. And I'm so happy that a company like Dose of Colors decided to do a amazing, beautiful collaboration with her. So this is my final look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. I kind of want to go out right now, but it's literally 10 p.m. on a Wednesday. What can you do at 10 p.m. on a Wednesday? Nothing. And that being said, please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy watching tutorials. I love doing these for you guys because I think they're so much fun and it gives me a chance to really show you how to do makeup, but also kind of talk to you which is my favorite thing to do. I love talking to you guys more on a personal level. And that being said, please don't forget to subscribe. I would love for you to become a member of family here on YouTube. So don't forget to subscribe. And that being said, I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye guys.